now for a dame that can't even balance a checkbook, you'll own my end of the champ pretty soon. <laughs> How's that tie, Mrs. Champ? If you boys like it, I do too. Uh, does Ann owe you a new hat yet? The usual? Uh-huh. Congratulations. <laughs> Once a pigeon, always a pigeon. Who's the bird brain now? I get it. Mr. Palooka? Yes. I'm Sam Freeman. This is Frank Ulo. We're both with the State Department. Oh, come in. Uh, this is my wife, Ann, and my manager, Nobby Walsh. Yeah. And this is Clyde Archibald, the champ's trainer. Uh, Mr. Freeman and Mr. Ulo, uh, did you say from the State Department? That's right, champ. I'll come right to the point. We've had a request from the Mexican consulate here that you stage an exhibition bout in Mexico City. It's an unofficial request, uh, champ, all the way around. That's right. Comes out of the heading of inter-American relationships. Uh, oh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Well, we couldn't do that. The champ's title would be on the line. We know it is. Whenever he fights, all the better. We wouldn't draw fleas with a challenger from south of the border. Let alone money. Well, never mind that, Nobby. Uh, well, what's this all about? Why is the State Department so interested? Well, let's say that a foreign element has been trying to destroy all the Americas stand for, and there's an election coming up. It's all very simple, Joe. You symbolize America. With you down there, the way you conduct yourself, It'll help kill the lies those elements are trying to spread. You mean about fair play and things? That's right, Clyde. About fair play and things. Well, I don't know. It might cause a lot of trouble, then. We've handled trouble before, Nobby. Well, gentlemen, uh, this doesn't take any thinking. When do we go and who do I fight? <laughs> Mexico. Hot tamales. Bulls. Senoritas. Yeah, besides that, girls. Torio. Torio pronto! That means hurry, Nobby. Torio! Charge! Torre Gonzalez, great pleasure to welcome the heavyweight boxing champion of the world to his Mexican training camp. It's awful nice of you to have us. It is nothing at all. It is my pleasure. Mmm, the air's so good you can almost taste it. Isn't it wonderful? Sure is a great place for training camp. Yeah, a great place for a refrigerator salesman. You must come inside now. My wife has cold drinks waiting. One of the salesmen has been through here, you see. This way, please. <laughs> Mexico, life of enchantment. This one is my wife, Maria. This one is Rosa. And this one, like her mother, is named Maria. Hello, how are you doing? Very nice family you have, Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, please, we are friends. You will call me Alfredo, no? Yes. Good. Then it is settled. Uh, here is Pedro, a second or third cousin. Who knows? Hello. Hello. Uh, come, Joe. I'm going to show you where the boxing ring has been placed. Oh, swell. Uh, like to come in? I don't think so, dear. It's so comfortable here. And you, Pedro? I wait, too, with you. Uh, you're working fast today, darling. Uh. Come, senorita. Let me get you a cold drink, eh? Hey, pretty good. Thank you. It's up to you now, Igor. The elections are only three weeks away. Now that we know that the Palookas are definitely here, we will use a plan that our comrades in our own countries found so effective. We will somehow discredit this Joe Palooka, this example of the American life, or his wife, it doesn't matter. They must think we are children if we do not know why he is here. But we must show the people that ours is the only way to live. A strong hand. They must vote for our candidate. That's right. The weak cannot think for themselves. <laughs> and sometimes they think just too long and think their powers away. And that is how we grow, my dear. We will show the people 
that these Palookas are liars and thieves, not to be trusted. That the bright example they are supposed to set is only propaganda. Their reputations must be tarnished if we expect the people to do as we wish. Remember what our comrades did to the shining examples of freedom in Poland? And how we twisted the people? Igor, we must not fail. This is our chance for a start. Naturally, Louise, we will not fail. I have no desire to be listed among the weak. With the left, see? Hey. See, and your jab. See? And jab. And give him a good workout. See, see. see. Now you hold your hand up. Uh-huh. Because the jab's got to get in shape. See. See. Now your jab wants... See? Then your jab with your right. See. See. I don't know why he keeps nodding his head for a champ. He ain't comprehending a word I'm acting. Maybe I ought to draw some pictures for him, huh? See? See? They're just a happy people, Kite. All he wants to do is help. Maybe he can box. Well, if he can, he'd be the first in a lot who could. See? With the left. See? And then the right hand. See? 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 See around. See? You take over, huh? Okay. See? See? Don't run away. See? Stand still. Touch gloves. I was having a picnic club. Good, huh? Yeah, great. I'll see you later. See, this is no good, champ. We gotta get you a workout. Say, that gives me an idea. You're pretty good with your mitts, and you sure could stand to lose a little weight. Talking to me? Yeah. Perish the thought. I would, but for one thing. What's that? I'm a coward. Joy! Joy! Yeah. I, I got you a couple of big boys, Steve. They heard we were having trouble with our sparring partners. Well, they're big enough. Now, if they can only concern my language. That might be difficult, but I do speak English. Then you teach me. I was an exchange student to USC, champ. Enrique Garcia, the name. Hank, up north. Glad to know you, Hank. I sure can use your help. Say, aren't you the challenger I'm supposed to meet? That's right. But I know how tough it is to find sparring partners. Thought you might like to go a few rounds with me and one of my boys. In fact, I'll leave him here for you. <laughs> no one would ever believe this. Why not? Certainly two people can be as friendly as our nations are. We meet in a sporting event. The best man will win. Why shouldn't I help? Yeah, but, but the challenger working out with a champ, th th this is crazy. Not really, Nobby. It's only too bad the rest of the world can't see it the same way. Might make a big, happy family. Yeah, it could be, but... But the, the press, the fans wouldn't like it, Joey. They'd say you'd have learned each other's style. I didn't think of that. You might have a point there, Mr. Walsh. Maybe you'd just better work with Juan. He'll stay till after the fight. Juan, te quedas a ayudarle al campeón hasta después del pleito. Si, sí, si. Sí. Now, don't start that again. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. I sure appreciate it. See you at the fight, champ. Good luck. Come on, I'll get him ready. Si. Si. I still don't get it. Lennon is a sparring partner. Great bunch of people, aren't they? Yeah. A nice going, champ. Hey, the champ's in great shape, huh, Nobby? See, si, see. Si. Of course I could see. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm going into town to get some gifts. How's it going? Oh, good. I got a good sparring partner here. 
Uh, is Pedro going to get some gifts, too? He insists on keeping me company. It's her American hospitality. I'm all for that. Well, have a good time, and hey, Pedro, don't let us spend too much money, will you? Si, senor champ. Oh, boy. I was just going to look around. I was thinking of something sort of special for a gift. Senora, you've come to the right place. I do have something special. This way, please. Thank you. The one in the center, the large stone, it's an old heirloom. It belonged to one of Mexico's greatest families. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm afraid it'd be too expensive, though. Oh, a mere 5,000 pesos means nothing. Not much in American money. Clerk. Clerk, if you please. Will you excuse me a moment, senora? Of course. Nice, but I think I'll wait. Perhaps some rings, something different. Ah, uh, I have just a thing. You must have made a recent sale. What? It's missing. That blonde woman was the last one near the tree. You're right. Hey, senora, just a moment. Wait. Hey, miss, just a moment. Senora, just a moment. Just a moment, please. Holy, just a moment. Police! Police! Senora, you were the last one at the counter there looking at my ring. Please, and now it's missing, you must have taken it. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Esta señora me robó mi amigo. Fue la última. Pero estaba seguro que fue seguro que sí. I saw her with the ring. Ahí está un testigo. You see there? I mean, I know that she did, because she was the last one there. So I... Please, please, señores. First, we search the accuser. It's a no last day custom. Dice bien. Muy bien. Ah. Oh, that's my ring. Oh, that's my ring. Oh, my beautiful ring, senorita. My most humble apology. Forgive me. Of course. I understand. Thank you very much. I wish I had one of them here. Right now. I'm trying to make out like Mrs. Champs, an everyday crook. If Pedro hadn't been there, I don't know what I would have done. Gosh, it's a good thing they assigned you to keep an eye on us. I'd have never guessed that you were an intelligence agent. You never would have known, Joe, if the incident hadn't occurred. Maybe it's better, though. Now we can talk above the table, as you say, in the United States, no? Do you think they'll try something else? With the elections a week away, the day after the fight, it is certain. But what? I hope I can still revisit the hospital I had planned to. But of course, the sick little ones would be grateful for another sight of you. Wish I could do more. Say, I wonder if anybody would mind if I gave my end of the purse to that little hospital on the outskirts of the city. Their hearts would surely be lightened by such a gift. Oh, Clyde, where's Nobby? Siestine, the last I saw. You know, sitting in the sun with a beautiful senorita. <laughs> I'll have Nobby take care of it. That'll be fine. They mean diamonds, you know. Throw one. So it's a diamond you want, huh? Now, let me see. Ah, uh, why should I pick up my hand? If you pardon the expression, chin. Have you seen the champ? Uh, they'll be back in a minute. Moonlight and walking. We interrupt it's this happened, program Joe. to bring you a what? special bulletin. Enrique Garcia, the challenger in the heavyweight fight tomorrow night, has disappeared. Talk in some circles says that perhaps the Americano champion is taking no chances with the title. It is rumored that once before, Joe Paluca would not step into the ring with the Mexican champion. And tonight, Jorge Catanas, the people's choice. Catanas, the pig. He takes orders from outside the country. Do you have any ideas? Only that Garcia was seen going for a drive late this afternoon. There is no doubt he was taken just so garbage like that could be spread. Say, where's that fellow that tried to frame Ann in the jewelry store? He's in jail. It's got to be the same crowd. I bet he knows where they'd take Garcia. You might be right. I'll take care of him. 
But we must make him talk. The fight must go on. We'll make him talk. And I think I know how. Clyde. Yeah, Chip. Listen, Clyde. Now, don't forget, Clyde, we've got to make it really look good. Act as if I'm killing you. The tickets finally come to this. Me, Clyde Archibald, in a fixed fight. <laughs> I would phony blood on him yet. It's not that bad, but we've got to make it really look vicious. I want to really scare this fellow, so keep hitting the canvas. That's new? I know, I know, don't tell me. I act as if I'm dying, and you're doing a killing, right? That's right. And when Pedro tells him that he has to get in the ring and work with me, it might scare him enough to make him talk. So really make it look vicious, understand? Here they come, so let's go. You can't do this to me. I belong in jail. Sure, you'll be back. But after the champion gives you a workout, I'll let you tell me what I want to know. I don't know what you're talking about. Pretty vicious man, no? just a warm-up. He'll kill me in there. So what? I won't go. Oh, yes, you will. No! Please! No! I'll talk! Please! Come! I'll talk! All right. Oh, hit me. You all right? I'm all right. Thanks, amigo. But this is the first time in history a champion had to save a challenger, so the fight could go on. Could be at that. About fight time, we better be on our way. I'll take over. The police are on their way. Right. Be my guest. Silencio! Silencio! Damas y caballeros! A thousand apologies for this delay. I beg of you, fellow countrymen, citizens of Mexico, show the good sportsmanship for which you are so justly famed. The champion of the world, Senor Jose Paluca, will definitely appear in this ring to match his skill against the pride of Mexico, Enrique Garcia. I beg of you, please be patient. Muchas gracias. Do you think something's happened? Well, what could happen? What could happen? Anything could happen. Joy might be hurt. Those rats might have grabbed him. Maybe they got him right now. Well, maybe not. Well, he probably stopped off for a tamale or something. That's it. Take it easy, Nobby. How can I take it easy? Joey's got the fight in five minutes, and he's outloaded on tamales already. When I see him, I'm going to talk. Hey, Nobby, the champ's here. He's here? Mm -hmm. He's here. You see, I told you not to worry. Let's go. Damas y caballeros, this is the feature attraction of the evening, a 10-round boxing exhibition, presenting in this corner at 191, the pride of Mexico, Enrique Garcia. And in this corner, at 200 pounds, the heavyweight champion of the world from the United States, Senor Jose Paluca. The referee, is Jose Herrera. You're familiar with the rules. I want a nice, clean fight. Come on, Joe.
boy's pretty good. It certainly is, but I think I can handle it. Without a doubt. Forget his face. Hit me with the right. He was the leader. Hey, uh, how about the fight, fellas? That pistol, it breaks some bones. Better this way. I will be the only one to know I cannot beat the champ. But the crowd know what he has done. Come on, we're gonna get you to a doctor. 